Good morning, everyone. From Branson, Missouri, I hope you guys are doing well. As you can probably see and hear, the rain continues in Branson. It is, uh, it, <laughs> I have been uh, very, very patient. My videos are on a delay, but I have been extremely patient after making the trip over here, waiting for some good weather in Branson, which just is not going my way so far. Um, so I've checked into an RV park here so that I can uh, plug in. Uh, it's still kind of humid and everything. I want to keep the kitties safe. I guess we're just gonna have to find some indoor stuff and uh, my Branson experience may be much different than everyone else's. Uh, it'll be real though. It'll be honest. <laughs> uh, but it'll also could be kind of moist. I've actually got the kayak out here in case I need to float away. <laughs> um, and uh, as it turns out, I've actually got some friends, couple well, some friends that I haven't even met in person yet, but some friends nonetheless that I'm going to be hanging out with, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk this over here this morning and uh, figure out a little game plan for Branson in the rain. That's right. I cannot wait any longer. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna definitely be in a better mood once we get indoors and start to feel better. Uh, but right now gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna be uploading this video with some Nomad internet and I'll put a link below in the video description below. Can we get some sunshine today? It'd be great. Well, but think of it this way. If I didn't have the car, I wouldn't be able to do anything today because just having the motorcycle, I would not be riding out uh, in the rain in the motorcycle. So thank goodness for the car that allows me to go kind of salvage a rainy day, rainy days, uh, you know what I mean? And also on my channel, you know, oftentimes on the road, I can kind of wait out some of these storms. I can look ahead, I can look at the radar and kind of see when it's gonna change and stuff like that. And I try to only make videos when it's not raining outside, but sometimes you just kind of run out of time. And that's kind of what's happened to me today. Well, this whole week actually is that, uh, there's, there's no waiting it out sometimes, and I just gotta battle through it. And like I said, Branson is a place that has a lot of indoor stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna get parked here and then uh, see what's up. All right, everyone, I am going to salvage this rainy day at a great spot here in Branson, Missouri. I'm here at the Celebrity Car Museum. They've got a few outside, but the inside I'm really looking forward to. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites outside. You guys know I named my cats after Sons of Anarchy characters, right? Jax and Tara, they're both from the show Sons of Anarchy, one of my favorite all-time TV dramas. They have the tow truck from Sons of Anarchy, guys. In fact, everything in this museum was used in the screen. These are not reproductions. Teller Morrow, this uh, juice drove this truck when they were repoing some stuff in the show. Couple other things happened with it, but uh, it is it is in complete condition as it was in the show, Sons of Anarchy. Right behind it, we have the real short bus. It is just a two window bus from Dumb and Dumber. So you can see it from this angle, how, how short it really is. They have cars from all your favorite movies here, Jurassic Park. Oh, that's great. I think they also have a smashed up screen version inside. And it's not just movies. They've also got stuff from our favorite TV shows on Netflix, Stranger Things. They got the Hawkins Power and Light van from Stranger Things. Probably several mystery machines. That's not just any RV, folks. This is the RV that was used in the horror movie 31, written and directed by Rob Zombie. The show must go on. Ain't she a butte, Clark? It's got the uh, snake and gal on the side. It's all original, exactly how it was used. In fact, peek in there and see it. Is it functional? Let me look at another window. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there, there's a sink. There's the dinette. I would have pulled out that dinette. <laughs> Pretty cool. And the last car outside here is a Ghostbusters. This is from the uh, newer female version of the, of the Ghostbusters movie there. And then we're gonna be going inside here in just a minute. But first of all, guys, I'm uh, meeting up with some friends. We got Jacob the Carpetbagger on YouTube, and uh, Andy, and this is uh, his his, his uh, place here. We tell us a little bit about the place. Well, we do TVs and movie cars. Generally, we have over 100 cars on display at all times. 95% of them are the actual screen used cars used to film the movie or the show. Awesome. We're gonna go inside and escape the rain. I'll put uh, Jacob's stuff in the bottom description well, you. if you wanna follow his channel also. He's like me, except, uh, 
He stays at hotels. in rooms and he travels in his car where we're in the RV. So you might really like some of his, he's been to some of the same places we have, but let's go check this place out. Let's check right, it out. Let's do it. All right, we're walking down the road. The Velvet Collection here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot to see here in this museum. We're going to walk around and I'm going to show you some of my favorites and, and, and also probably some, some new stuff in here. But also, I want to share with you, we got one more YouTuber here you might recognize. Well, I'm not a car, I'm a person. <laughs> we got what Boogie. Kind of car did you think I was? <laughs> Do I look like a Tesla? You look great, man. Seriously. Oh, man, thank you. Look you. fantastic. Well, I'm half the man I used to be, but I still <laughs> like to be about a quarter if I could. Awesome. So. Hey, he's going to be getting out and doing some more exploring. He's already been getting out, so I'll, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. See what, <coughs> see, see what he's up to these days. Heck yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. And there's a whole Knight Rider section. It's all themed out, so we got Knight Rider from the television series here. Here's the 2007 Mustang that was used in the movie by NBC. And a Daytona Spider from Miami Vice. <laughs> Obey the speed limit, buddy. <laughs> Shake and bake, baby. If you ain't first, you're last. Woo! You guys ever seen the movie Pixels? This is actually one of my favorite movies. It, it didn't get a whole lot of exposure, but they got two pixel arcades here. These may have been used uh, in the film in the background as, as part of it, but that was a really good movie. There's another one coming out here in a couple months called Free Guy, which is another video game type. I'm really looking forward to seeing that in the theaters. All right, here's a car from uh, True Blood, this old 80s Honda Civic. Didn't see that one. Herbie from Herbie Fully Loaded. Looks like it's got some damage there. Oh my. Wayne's World, party on, excellent. <laughs> oh, and they're singing Bohemian Rhapsody in it, in the screen right there. Oh, that's a beautiful car. Something from Twister. In fact, I think they have something, another additional car from Twister in the back. This is the uh, Dot 3 that uh, had those butterfly things that went up and traced everything. That's pretty unique. There's also a lot of really neat artwork incorporated within all the cars here. Here's Route 66 above a car from Twilight, if, if you're into that sort of thing. There it is. <laughs> all right, and there's another Jurassic Park used vehicle from the movie. This one actually got smashed up. So this is the condition after the movie was filmed. The roof's caved in. Obviously, the uh, sunroof is gone in there. And look at the attraction. I mean, there's a T-Rex sticking out right there. It's really cool. Jacob's locked inside the halo right now. I wonder what it's doing to him in there. How you doing in there? All right, now I'm probably my most excited I'm gonna be in this place because this is my favorite vehicle in the entire museum. The Mutt Cuts van from Dumb and Dumber 1994. Harry and Lloyd sat in there during the movie. I can go get a closer look right now. Yep. We're gonna feel that shag. Oh man, that's great. I guess this is going to be an 80 Ford Econoline. There's the mutt cut sign on the side. There's the leg that you'd pull out to uh, fill up the gas tank there. Let's go peek at the back. Complete with the tail. It is street legal. It's got Missouri plates and tail lights. Let's uh, sneak a peek in here and see if we can Check it out, oh my gosh. Jim Carrey Lloyd sat right there. He also sat right there and peed into a bottle. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Feels like you're running incredible, right, Harry? <laughs> foot long, who's got the foot long? No? Hey, you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> that Mutt Cuts van was not the only Dumb and Dumber car from the newest Dumb and Dumber 2. I guess it's the third one, but really it's, it's really number, number two. They have the hearse uh, with Harry and Lloyd were in the front and they put the glass up here. They put their butts through there when the bad guy was back there. They farted and then pulled the glass back up and, and bombed him out here in the hearse. This is the newest edition of the car museum here, by the way. This is the newest one they've got. And uh, it's nice to see another Dumb and Dumber piece here. The El Camino from the Breaking Bad movie. Of course, Breaking Bad is one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, the museum might, just might, be loaning this back out if they ever need it again for anything. Hint, hint, come on, we need another season, guys. All right, and then Vin Diesel's 67 Pontiac GTO Triple X. 
Look at that shine on her. Ooh, she's pretty. Complete with the uh, custom rockets on the front there. Oh man, it's a pretty car. Let's go, let's go peek in the dash there. All right, check out the interior dash of this car here. Woo-wee! How neat is that? I think I gotta have a gun in the back and a few more extra rockets on board, right? Yeah. Now, what's a car museum without some Batman stuff? And not just Batman stuff, but the TV series, my favorite. I only own one DVD kit in my entire RV. It's the only DVD I have is the entire complete season of Batman from the 60s. I love it. They're, they're playing some on the screen right here. We've got the uh, motorcycle dual combo this is where Robin sat actually check out Jacob's video because I actually rode in Robin's seat and he rode the motorcycle with Batman there pretty cool and of course they have a Batmobile oh check this thing out I love the black and red that is one sweet car look at the curved windshield on there we got the bat logo embroidered on the seats back there and hopefully we've got a jet engine back here Oh yeah, we sure do. I'm gonna get to sit in the Batmobile. Now you, if you're coming to this museum, you, you cannot cross the uh, special velvet rope right here, but, but if you're dying to look into one of these cars, talk with the owners, maybe they can work something out with you. We're gonna sit in the Batmobile as Batman. Oh, it's a thick door. It's huge. Holy cow. Guys, the Batmobile. Oh. Oh my gosh, I actually feel like Batman. <laughs> Wow, look at that dash. I, I, I could drive something like this every day. There's the buttons for the bat scope over there. Is that a bat phone? The bat phone's ringing. Hello, yes, Commissioner Gordon. I will be right over with a fresh bag of tater tots. Absolutely. Don't hesitate to ask him up front if you want this once in a lifetime experience to sit in one of the cars. 10 bucks, yeah. They've also got a lot of Transformer stuff here. Here's the original Bumblebee from the movie. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, that Camaro is sexy. Look at that car, guys. That's beautiful. Actually, I kind of like that Saline Mustang over there even better. Man, that's cool. Let's get a closer look at this 2005 Saline Mustang. It's, it's legit, guys. This is the real deal here. Oh my gosh. It just reeks of speed and horsepower. <laughs> Stranger Things on Netflix is also set to uh, release a new season as well. They have three cars. Well, no, they have the van out front that I showed you first. They have four, right? Four? Yeah. So this is Billy's blue Camaro. Oh, that is sweet. Uh, this is the Cadillac that Winona Ryder drove, the mom. Okay, I think. And they got the police chief's blazer here. Isn't that awesome? Complete with real bullet holes there. Yep, pretty cool. Now if there's one vehicle in this entire place that could possibly be better than the Mutt Cuts van, you know what they got here. Yeah, they, they got it. They got the DeLorean from Back to the Future, everyone. It is legit here. I'm telling you what, look, it's even got the flux capacitor in the back. It is fluxing. We are ready for time travel. Get a load of this thing. There's where you input your dates and everything. There's the speedometer that needs to go 88 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, look, look at every little detail on this car, guys. It's even got the Mr. Fusion upgrade, so you could fuel it with tater tots and Bud Light and go back to the future. Oh man, that's a sweet car. We're in the DeLorean, everyone. What should we set our date to? Something not 2020, right? Yeah, let's go a little bit farther back than that. What does this control knob here do? Oh, it shuts her down, and then we can fire back up the uh, flux capacitor. Let me do that one more time so you can see the display light up. Oh my gosh, it's got all the sound effects. It's got everything. And yes, this thing probably might do 88 miles an hour. How cool is this? Man. Well, I can mark that off my bucket list. I literally went back in time. Yes. That was so much fun. It's starting to sprinkle here outside again. I'm gonna take the car over to a secret 
warehouse on the other side of the building here and uh, get a, a sneak peek at a few other things, which I'm excited about. All right, we're out here at, at the uh, warehouse location behind the facility, and uh, this bus right here, although it's been chopped, this is the bus from the movie Speed. Remember that? Remember that movie? Yeah. Couldn't go below 55. And this is the jet from uh, True Lies with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh huh. And go look at a few others that they might be working on. This is kind of where they store some of the ones that aren't ready for the showroom floor yet. So uh, here in one of the garages, this, again, these are some cars that still need to be like cleaned up a little bit, but they may they may find their way into the main museum at one time. I want to show you this one right there. Oh, convertible. Most people would not recognize this. Car. Well, let me show you the back. Okay, because this car is a little tore up. It's missing the back part here. Oh dear. No, I mean, oh dear. This is the car from Tommy Boy. Yes, this is the car. They had a deer in here that was sleeping that they, they that thought they killed, and he uh, tore it all up in there. Oh, so classic, such a good movie. A couple more cars here in the garage here. There's a, this is the one from the Dukes of Hazard movie. It's actually, uh, they, they had a different couple with different ones they used. This one has the top. They had a, like a camera guy up here that was getting the shots. So that was for a different part of it. And then from Jurassic World, this one used to be in the main museum actually. And they moved it back out to the shop. I think it's been sold actually. They do sell some of their vehicles. So this was damaged in the movie Jurassic World. That's why it's all tore up and all the glass is missing and bent and everything there. Yeah, the cool part about the museum is they're constantly getting new inventory. So they sell to collectors or people like me that want the mud cuts van or, 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 or whatever. And that way they can constantly get some new stuff in the main museum. And this is just one of the shops where they store some of the other vehicles. All right, well, we're going to go out for lunch here at Billy Bob's Dairyland. We're going to try out some Bergs for our Murphs. Yep, Billy Bob's Dairyland with some original artwork here, like from the 50s. Supposedly they're supposed to have some pretty good Bergs for Murphs. They do have a jukebox here that plays CDs. Awesome. Oh, that's a really cool place. Very cool. All right, I went with the uh, chocolate milkshake. Got our drinks and our, uh, our, our orders are in. Looking forward to those burgers. All right, went with the Plain Jane burger and tater tots there. Got a burger there too, Andy. That looks good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Everybody's got food. All right, looks good. Tell you what, that was a pretty scrumptious burger there. That's pretty good. I uh, really enjoyed uh, hanging out at the museum. Thank you, Andy, and the rest of the guys there that run the uh, car museum there. That was a lot of fun. Nice to meet uh, Jacob for the first time and, and Boogie. I'm looking forward to seeing more of his adventure vlogs there. So uh, made some new friends today. That was good. I'm going to go check in on the kitties real quick. And if we can get a little bit more drying out here, uh, maybe we'll go back out here later today uh, and explore more Branson. I'm looking forward to it. It's clearing up a little bit. All right. All right. Some for Jax. Some for Tara. Do you guys like your treats? The pretty good treats? All right. Excuse me. That was Tara's. Jax, that was Tara's. Now, since this video is getting long, I am going to cut it off here. There is going to be more Branson to share with you. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some rain breaks and also find some magnets. So much more of Branson to share with you. Thanks for joining me, guys. Jax, Tara, and I will see you in a few days. Bye, guys.